Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So man, we just got a huge surprise drop. Um, we got a lot to cover here. Let's go ahead and break down everything you need to know about this December update. Alrighty, so this update dropped in December 6, 2022. And let's go ahead and cover the biggest thing here, which is the custom game browser. So they actually shadow dropped or surprise dropped, whichever you prefer calling it, the custom game browser. Now, if you don't know what the custom game browser is, well, just like really any other game, or at least some games have like, they have like server browsers where you can like pick and choose, you know, to join someone's lobby to play certain games, whether it's a fun mini game or just like your standard Slayer. So you're just able to host these lobbies and if people want, they could join in, hop out whenever they want, all that kind of stuff. So the custom game browser was supposed to drop with season three. And I believe season three begins on March 7th. Yeah, we got quite an early drop about like three months earlier. And this is really big news. This is like something that we needed really badly. And I'm glad that they were able to actually prioritize this because it was something that was very much needed with Forge when it launched as it's very difficult to get into lobbies and play these awesome customs that the community creates. Now this is their version one, as they like to call it, of the custom game browser. So of course it's gonna have some bugs, you know, some rough edges, some kind of, maybe possibly some crashes. And I'm assuming by season three, we'll get like the version two of this custom game browser, which is gonna like fix up a lot of issues possibly. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, that's pretty insane that we got that this early. So not only that, but we got a new map. Now this one is a Forge made map created by 343 themselves and that is the pit remake it's called imperium or Imper imperian i don't know hard to pronounce honestly but this is the map that they showed off way back then and it was unfinished and now we got the finished product which it does seem a lot more different it does look better of course and i got to play a few games on it and it does flow pretty smoothly i really do like it not sure if i'm really into the aesthetic um, I would have preferred something else, but it still plays well. And the awesome thing about this map is that we got the scrap cannons on there. So the scrap cannons are finally in the multiplayer. All right, so moving on to the next thing. If you were a player that missed out on some of the armor cores, the special event cores, which is the Uri core, the entrenched core, and I think the, the Rakish Shaska core, whatever the heck it's called. If you missed out on them and you weren't able to previously get them, well, now they're all free. So all the default cores are free, but you actually also get the 10 starter coatings, which are called, which are called the cadet coatings. These were previously available only to the Mark 7 core, I believe, which features like the more basic colors like blue, red, I think yellow and green. The more basic ones, they give you a bit of variety to choose from. And yeah, you can apply it to any of the cores, which is pretty nice. And of course, it wouldn't really be an update if we didn't get any bug fixes. Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics, but we do have some of the highlights here. So Red Reticle is back on mouse and keyboard. They took it out, I think, previously and then added it and then took it out and then added it again. I don't know. Anyways, it's back and they also added a walk button. Yeah, so they just made improvements to the mouse and keyboard experience. And I think personally, the most important one is networking and desync improvements. So vehicle desyncs, melee attacks, not registering, blank shots, all that kind of stuff has gotten some sort of improvements. I will be honest, I haven't played enough to really judge it, um, but let me know if it uh, feels any better. And we finally got a player reporting option, which allows you to report players for people who are cheating or people who are just being garbage human beings. This can be accessed by just pressing the back button, which is the scoreboard. And yeah, you just select a player and you can mute them or not mute them. Sorry, report them. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is a great update? I definitely do think it is. And I hope we continue to see updates at this kind of pace. Now we just need firefight or some kind of PVE mode. And I think I'll be pretty satisfied. And of course, like an actual progression system would also be nice. My name is Lost and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.